Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Stay the course. The definition of stay the course. Keep going strongly to the end of a race or a contest. Pursue a difficult task or activity to the end. Hold or persevere to the end. To continue with the process, effort, even though it is difficult. To continue doing something until it is finished or until you achieve something you have planned to do. To finish a difficult or unpleasant task, even though you have found it hard. To persevere with as much determination, energy, or fortitude as one can until the end of a race, competition, or contest, despite an early setback in the first half. I will read the King James Version of Genesis chapter 30. And when Rachel saw that she bare Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children or else I die. And Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel. And he said, Am I in God's stead, who hath withheld from thee the fruit of the womb? And she said, Behold, my maid Bilhah, go in unto her. And she shall bear upon my knees, that I may also have children by her. And she gave him Bilhah, her handmaid, to wife. And Jacob went in unto her. And Bilhah conceived, and bare Jacob a son. And Rachel said, God hath judged me, and hath also heard my voice, and hath given me a son. Therefore called she his name Dan. And Bilhah, Rachel's maid, conceived again and bare Jacob a second son. And Rachel said, With great wrestlings have I wrestled with my sister, and I have prevailed. And she called his name Naphtali. When Leah saw that she had left bearing, she took Zilpah her maid and gave her Jacob to wife. And Zilpah, Leah's maid, bare Jacob a son. And Leah said, A troop cometh. And she called his name Gad. And Zilpah, Leah's maid, bare Jacob a second son. And Leah said, Happy am I, for the daughters will call me blessed. And she called his name Asher. And Reuben went in the days of wheat harvest and found mandrakes in the field and brought them unto his mother Leah. Then Rachel said to Leah, Give me, I pray thee, of thy son's mandrakes. And she said unto her, Is it a small matter that thou hast taken my husband? And wouldest thou take away my son's mandrakes also? And Rachel said, Therefore he shall lie with thee tonight for thy son's mandrakes. And Jacob came out of the field in the evening. And Leah went out to meet him and said, Thou must come in unto me, for surely I have hired thee with my son's mandrakes. And he lay with her that night. And God hearkened unto Leah, and she conceived and bare Jacob the fifth son. And Leah said, God hath given me my hire, because I have given my maiden to my husband. And she called his name Issachar. And Leah conceived again, and bare Jacob the sixth son. And Leah said, God hath endued me with a good dowry. Now will my husband dwell with me, because I have borne him six sons. And she called his name Zebulun. And afterward she bare a daughter, and called her name Dinah. And God remembered Rachel, and God hearkened to her, and opened her womb. And she conceived and bare a son, and said, God hath taken away my reproach. And she called his name Joseph, and said, The Lord shall add to me another son. And it came to pass when Rachel had born Joseph, that Jacob said unto Laban, Send me away, that I may go unto my own place and to my country. Give me my wives and my children, for whom I have served thee, and let me go. For thou knowest my service, which I have done thee. And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, if I have found favor in thy eyes, tarry, for I have learned by experience that the Lord hath blessed me for thy sake. And he said, Appoint me thy wages, and I will give it. And he said unto him, Thou knowest how I have served thee, and how thy cattle was with me. For it was little which thou hadst before I came, and it is now increased unto a multitude. And the Lord hath blessed thee since my coming, and now when shall I provide for my own house also? And he said, What shall I give thee? And Jacob said, 
thou shalt not give me anything. If thou will do this thing for me, I will again feed and keep thy flock. I will pass through all thy flock today, removing from thence all the speckled and spotted cattle, and all the brown cattle among the sheep, and the spotted and speckled among the goats. And of such shall be my hire, so shall my righteousness answer for me in time to come, when it shall come for my hire before thy face. Every one that is not speckled and spotted among the goats, and brown among the sheep, that shall be counted stolen with me. And Laban said, Behold, I would it might be according to thy word, and remove that day the he goats that were ring straight and spotted, and all the she goats that were speckled and spotted, and every one that had some white in it, and all the brown among the sheep, and gave them into the hand of his sons. And he set three days' journey betwixt himself and Jacob, and Jacob fed the rest of Laban's flocks. And Jacob took him rods of green poplar, and of the hazel and chestnut tree, and peeled white streaks in them, and made the white appear which was in the rods. And he set the rods which he had peeled before the flocks in the gutters in the watering troughs, when the flocks came to drink, that they should conceive when they came to drink. And the flocks conceived before the rods, and brought forth cattle ring straight speckled and spotted and jacob did separate the lambs and set the faces of the flocks toward the ring streak and all the brown in the flock of laban and he put his own flocks by themselves and put them not unto laban's cattle and it came to pass whensoever the stronger cattle did conceive that jacob laid the rods before the eyes of the cattle in the gutters that they might conceive among the rods but when the cattle were feeble, he put them not in. So the feebler were Laban's, and the stronger Jacob's. And the man increased exceedingly, and had much cattle, and maid servants, and men servants, and camels, and asses. The end. God bless you, and thank you for joining me today.